Dear students, a very good morning. Today, I shall be discussing on a very important topic, which is basically asking practicals as well as in theory questions. The question is, why is temporary fascia graft commonly preferred as a graft material for middle ear surgery? Might be myringoplasty, might be timanoplasty, might be modified radical master surgery, or even for cortical master surgery. The answer is straightforward. The temporary fascia has a low basal metabolic rate in comparison to other grafts like trigal perichondrium, trigal cartilage, conchal cartilage or conchal perichondrium. Therefore, it can survive for a longer time. Usually, the tympanic membrane regeneration takes around 1 to 3 months. Therefore, graft has to be there at least for one month for proper support. We have to stress that the graft itself does not become the future tympanic membrane. The remnant tympanic membrane regenerates over the graft, therefore graft acts as the support. So it has to live longer for the TM to regenerate, therefore it less live long. There is a theory for temporary fascia having less basal metabolic rate and living for longer time. Second point, it is easy to harvest from the same site. If you make a post auricular incision or end oral incision, it can be harvested from the same incision site. Sometimes, if we perform myringoplasty permeatorily, then we can harvest from the separate level from the scalp. A larger size graft can be harvested from the temporalis fascia. As you know, the temporalis muscle is a large muscle. Therefore, the large size graft can be harvested from the big temporalis muscle. Being an autograft, there is no chance of rejection or very less chance of rejection. Temporary fascia has comparable thickness with the normal tympanic membrane. This is not very thick. The trigal perichondrium as well as trigal cartilage, they are thick grafts. As the graft is thick, then there is chance that the graft might be rejected because it has high metabolic rate. Last point, the temporary fascia has good resistance to infection. As has been taught, the fascia in the head and neck are very strong and they resist the infection to go through them to the muscles or in other different planes. Therefore, it has good resistance to infection and there is less chance of infection of the graft. These are the points why the temporary fascia is being preferred as the graft material in mid surgeries. Thank you. Have a good day.